and welcome back to Piano Secrets. In this video I will be teaching you how to play Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, third movement, and this is the third part. The first thing that you should know is the A major scale. So A major is like this. And he's gonna use this chord, an octave higher from there. So this four notes and also he's going to invert the chord and put the C sharp on the bass, double up, add the E and the A here, which are the same notes, E and A from the A major chord. And then he plays there very loud. Okay? So all of these notes I'm going to play next are going to be part of the scale. So he does here a turn on A, then he does third, fourth, and second. I repeat the same pattern. Okay, and the fourth time he goes all the way up the scale, and that's a turn here. And that's all we have. So we have this. And then it repeats. So we have the big A major. And then we'll do this pattern. So let's kind of do the notes. All the way up. Coming back. All the way up. This is the second time. Third time. And the fourth time he extended it all the way up, little turn, and go down the scale to G. I hope this is clear. Just uh, notice that the scale has A and E, so we're taking this note and then putting these three notes, the first three notes of the scale. He basically flipped this part and did this. That's the A major scale, so he's doing. several times and then extending it okay so let's try to play that and here he also does the inversion of the chord the A major chord so we have A major chord here from the scale we could flip the notes and we get this chord so we could play the left hand let's say if we play the big chord of the bass we have one two three four one two three four one two three four for the life here. technically it's simple you don't have to do much the only thing is getting the speed on the scale so let's do it together now chord two one matches a each time descending a matches matches again now each one end here. So all this is using just the A major chords and scale. Okay? To practice it, just remember that always the descending A matches again descending and the last time descending and we start doing every four notes and we get there. To play it up to speed I said you could do it, some rhythms with it. You could do like this. It starts one slow, one fast. So now E, it's gonna be quick. Back to A. Same. Release. So you could practice like this. Okay. Also, we could do the opposite, like I always say. four notes practice like that then also it's important you watch when you switch the thumb so we do switch the thumb you rotate a little bit 
switch it, put it here, back and start over, rotate towards the left. When you go up and have these notes, I don't do fourth fingers, very accurate, do 5-3 and rotate, okay, and get there. If we do it up to speed, remember to count this, one, two, one. Okay, and it's fortissimo, and then piano. Crescendo there. And then pianissimo, back to pianissimo. So we have this now. Crescendo. Okay, last time. One, two, one. Then we go to the next part. Let me play it now. Now here we end up on G and he's using a chord from the other scale, the G sharp minor that we did on the second part. This only flipped here, so he gets to the G here. Then he has the A, it's going to the second chord. Ends the line. Now it's important you think this piano. So together, first note. Now. I like to end it soft on the G sharp. It's like E major is on the bass now. Change your chord. So G sharp minor. D sharp 7. Tension. And re release there to E major. So one last time. Then we have the same A major and the same scale. Now the match is gonna be on this ascending note. So first you play the scale and the A major is only one pulse. One ah. There here we match it. Match. The scale going up. when you do the A, the technique is the same, we have just the switch here on A, back, right? And then here we have the complete scale, with the D in it. You could take your time on D sharp, a little extra, because it's changing there, so I have... a little bit of pedal but if you could do it with, without pedal that would be better so we play A major we count one pulse one uh. we match it ascending now match it the scale going now notice A major now Two of those. This will be a G diminish. Back to G sharp minor. And then we have a D sharp seven. There. I don't know your level, so I don't know what you're playing, so I can comment on that. But if you follow this one step at a time and you are very patient you will get uh, you will be successful at playing this so a major now for sando which means we pause and then we play for sando pause and pause and play match the first note and pause again and we finish the line
section now. He's going back to the scale. G sharp minor. So we're going to think on the melody. We have this. So to that what we do is take that melody with the fifth finger, add the D. It's important that you notice that all we're doing is always this, but with a D below. Then we do, and we put the D on top. Okay, so we do it. Piano. Okay, and it's using the same scale. Left hand, we have the same kind of thing. hands they makes it much easier let's say if we play it together we add the D sharp we add D sharp here an octave and it's important though that you bring those out okay if we do it together it's very exciting we do it slowly try to bring those notes out you can if we play from before then it changes it's nice when you're practicing by yourself that you exaggerate a little bit the melody we know this is pianissimo I want to hear that when I play. Now, I emphasize more the thumb. Top, center of the hand. And to bring those up, you just aim more towards that. Okay? Okay, let's play one last time. Back to the chord, it's just this chord that is split. Going to C sharp minor, split. We go back, so we have. Okay, one last time slowly. You split the chords. Before splitting chord, G sharp minor, back to G sharp minor, D sharp major, and then we have this. Now the same melody, now it's gonna do it an octave, and we add the D sharp. So that's what we have. So. The D sharp in the middle of change, change and change. Left hand, okay, together. We skip now, we do the same pattern. Jump, same melody. again the same G sharp minor we had C sharp minor G sharp minor over D sharp and then here we're gonna go changing B 
and the chord split A major And we get back to the theme So it has a staccato theme here when first we were playing big lines So we have this now back to that. It's important that you take a minute when you do this, loosen up, now there. And when we finish up here, finish up here, and this is smart staccato and then long note, short an accent there there we have to emphasize release release in other words to help us play it we use the one before from the chord now after we get here we have the theme again remember we did now we have the theme Thank you very much.